so I don't know if you can see that. It's minus two uh, in Celsius. I'm back at the freaking garage. And as you can see, everything is packed up and he's ready to leave this place. Um, I'm back at the crappy car. So uh, I just wanted to show you what I did. This is very, very short because um, yeah, it is. I re-in welded, uh, how do you call it, the, the strut, the frame, the piece of frame. I re made a lot of repairs. I have a rep uh, wait a second, I need to hold this light somehow. Um, I made a repair down here. This is where the fist size hole was. Um, Hold on. You can see I changed out that amount of plating. So that's, I don't know how, yeah, it's from there to there. Uh, read it, that strut up there that goes for the mm, rubber mount for the cab. And a hole, I don't, yeah, I made a hole there a little hole a tiny one on the back side of the frame I made a piece that size in in there um, yeah and now I'm rewelding everything so and I have no gas <laughs> ain't that a joke I'm welding without gas uh, the reason is I got a new welder and my welder can't take that um, that winding that is on the flask so um, yeah that's my problem so I'm welding without gas but I had that is what I need to finish up here but I can't finish it up on the table because it's you, I, you can't hold this on the table and grind it and cut it and stuff like that it just squirms all over the place so I just gonna weld it up in here and regrind it and reweld everything here. This is going to be uh, embraced with a plate uh, for strength, and that one up there is only a piece of plate put on top. So the hole is actually not a hole; it's only a hole in the, pl in the piece of plating. The frame underneath is solid, so that's good. I'm just going to weld that hole up. The little one up here, right on top of my finger. Uh, this is getting too long. <laughs> well, so the, the the next challenge I have is um, <coughs> I'm I'm having a cold and there is no heat up here. You can see my breath. I don't know how cold it is, but it's freaking cold. I have no heat at all. Um, <sighs> So I need to weld a piece of metal here, which only was made out of thin plate, sheet plate. So I'm just going to do that and make a strut brace here and yeah, weld it up and make it nice so he can get his car finished because this is, this has simply been taking way, way too long. So yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about it because I have to hustle and bustle and I'm almost not getting any cash for this not that I'm complaining about that but it it is a long way to take it, it takes me an hour up and a, an hour and an hour back home from where I am and this place is called Tullerse so um, if you want to you can look it up I don't know where he's moving but hopefully a bit shorter distance so I can help him get finished with the car I bought myself a welder a couple of years ago, never used it. First time I hooked it up, it just welded beautiful without any gas. I'm, I'm amazed. I've never ever had a new welder in my hand that welds that good. And it's a cheap welder too. It's a Tillwin. Uh, that one, the red one. So yeah, that is, that, that is actually what I have for heat, a 2000 watt heater. And I have to sit right next to it. Oh, I'm shaking. I have to sit down and get some. Oh, and I'm cold. 
I have a cold, I got a cold. On top of that, so yeah. Oh. This is how it looks from the outside. That's the little piece that I told you I welded in. Whoa. And it looks horrible, but it's because I can't get in there with the with the grinder and grind because it's yeah, it's a shitty flappy disc. And I'm not used to using those flappy discs, so. Okay, cutting off. Bye-bye. Take care.